In summertime, all of this can get a little bit overwhelming. But just five minutes away is a giant playground where you can behave like a kid again. Its name? Governor's Island. I'm here with Leslie Koch, who's the president of the Trust for Governor's Island. We're standing on the gorgeous, windswept foreshore of the island. Now, this place has a history going back 400 years. It does. It was first settled by the Lenape tribe, and then the Dutch came here and it was too small, so they went to the Big Island. And then actually it has its name uh, as the Governor's Island because it was the summer residence of the British royal governor uh, back when we were a colony. Uh, and then from that point forward when we became a nation, it was a military base uh, from around 1800 until the 1960s, and then uh, the base for the U.S. Coast Guard, which patrols the American waters uh, until 1997. So take us through some of the activities that are on offer here today. We have five miles of car-free biking out here, so that means it's a wonderful place, not only for children, but there's a lot of grown-ups in New York who either never learned how to ride a bike or haven't been on one in a long time. So people come out here and they either can bring their own bicycle or borrow one of our bikes. A miniature golf is always free. Uh, we have hammocks and Adirondack chairs around the island, and of course those are always free. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, hands-on uh, arts program for children run by the Children's Museum of the Arts. And then we have art exhibits throughout the island, both outdoors and, as well as in some of the historic homes uh, that were previously used by the officers. And the other great thing just is to look at the view. This place seems like a giant playground. It is. We call it the playground for the arts. You know, we think it's important that adults get to play too. This is like a free vacation right in the middle of the city. Uh, and that's our message to the city. And this is a resource that's paid for by New York City residents uh, through their taxes. And so we think it's just a wonderful opportunity for people to have a vacation just seven minutes away. There are some areas of the island that haven't been developed yet. Yeah. What are the plans for those? Half of the island is actually a National Historic District and you'll see beautiful buildings that date uh, back to 1810, some of them in the 20th century. Those are all preserved and those are landmarked. And the southern half of the island, which actually was created with a landfill from the New York City subway uh, back in 1905, uh, there are a number of buildings that are slated for demolition. We have very ambitious uh, plans to transform the southern half of the island into really a magnificent uh, park and public space. I've read that there's going to be a school opening up on the island. Yes, the New York Harbor School is actually already open. It's such an adventure for a kid to go to school on, on, a, on a little island. It's really the first time ever that a uh, Children in New York City have gone to school accessible only by boat, but also it's such a beautiful place. And so uh, while it's very different than going to school uh, in a city neighborhood, to have basically this island uh, for you to experience uh, as a kid from an urban neighborhood is really going to be a wonderful experience. And they're ninth and 12th graders, and we're really looking forward to having them. I find that there's this psychological thing with a lot of New Yorkers where they don't want to cross a river or they don't want to get on a boat to go to an island. They just want to stay in Manhattan. What would you say to them? We're thrilled that actually, and you probably experienced this already today in your visit, people are lining up and getting on boats. So in the space of a few short seasons, uh, we've really transformed people's behavior. And quite frankly, a lot of people now say, the boat ride's too short, because um, it's such a wonderful experience on a beautiful day like today. New York, like the rest of the world, is rediscovering uh, its shoreline and waterfront as a place for people to play, not just to work. Governor's Island is open Friday through Sunday until October 11th. For more information, go to govisland.com. I'm Ella Morton and you've been watching Rocket Boom NYC.